Hello everyone, Storm King and Aluki back here again with our fourth episode of Let's Play Act Razor. So from where we left off, we were about to go after the monster, but if you notice, our population is very close to 700, and they said we'll get a level up when we reach that. So now I get to show you guys the trick to getting max population, which is really cruel and wrong. Well, you see how the houses are different here? You got uh, your hide houses or leather houses, and then you got your wooden houses, and then you got these nice brick ones. Well, we want brick. That equals more people. So we have to destroy the old houses. Yes, we destroy our own people and right in their houses. <clears throat> and let's get a few of these done. And you'll notice that they start working to increase the population again. And all the houses they build will give us more. Um, if you noticed, beforehand our population was around 670. now <clears throat> now let's go ahead and get these guys to do it. there we go building houses now you see they didn't build very many houses but we're already back up to 652 and let's get the next one there you go 684 for six houses they've already expanded it above where it was We might have run out of souls. Yeah, that sucks. We ran out of souls. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and destroy these um, lame houses anyway, and then we'll go after the boss. Make it a little easier so we don't have to do this whole thing later. It's tedious, but it's what you got to do if you want max. And here's the thing. When I said that your um, the scores you get in the levels determine your max population, what the way it works is the total score for your first dungeon and your second dungeon in the same zone will determine the max amount of souls in that zone. So like for Fillmore here, there's two dungeons. The total score for both of them determines the maximum number of souls you can have. However, you only get access to a little over half of them after the first dungeon which is where I am now. Until you beat the second dungeon, you don't get the rest of the souls. They hold back... Well, actually, maybe not as many as I was saying. They hold back, like, around a quarter of the souls. So you get a good boost after you're done. Of course, just like the rule always says, every statistic, or, um, uh, you know, 99% of all statistics are made up on the spot. So the statistics I was giving have all been made up. I do know they hold stuff back. I know it's a, 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 enough of an amount that it matters, but it's not a huge amount. Now, I keep destroying. Destroy, destroy, burn! Burn! And if you were curious, um, all the miracles, they start costing more the higher up you go. So it's 10 for lightning, 20 for rain, 30 for sun. And then I don't know about the other ones. Um, I have to speed this up so I get some points. <clears throat> I'm not sure about the other two, but the other two only come into play twice in the entire game. So it's kind of no point to remember. Yes, I want to use lightning. And don't be afraid to destroy good houses if there are bad houses on the same square. Okay, it's for their own good. And they can always rebuild. Don't worry about that. single house. <clears throat> looks 
like we're running out of, uh, we're running out of magic and we're running out of, uh, eh, I don't know. Not getting too much every turn. It kind of makes it hard to continue destroying people. You know, it's, it's tough work killing people. It really is. There we go. Okay, last two, and we're going to go after the boss. Okay, get some more people here. Okay, 682, that's good. Now, let's get our offerings before we go. Strength of the Angel. Those are special bo a special bow and arrow you can use when you're in your Cupid form. It doubles your attack power. Which, for some of the later enemies, there are ones that take like 8 hits, so it'll bring them down to 4. This is a bridge. It's basically the skill of bridge making. In some of the other villages, they won't have bridges. So what you gotta do is actually give them this in order to show them how to use bridges. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, back to the Sky Palace. Now, we got our magic, but we haven't equipped it yet, so now we're equipped. See the little fire symbol up at the top? That means it's equipped. Now we're ready to fight monsters. Here we go. People will no longer be scared of evil. Are you ready? Yes. And see, now on the map it actually shows a full city. And unlike some games where they literally have a, um, a bunch of tiles that they just place in there to show it's a city that's filled, this one actually, it looks like your city. If you had like an empty section at one side, it'll show up with an empty section there on the big map. They did a very good job there. Yeah, I love the music in this game. Now, this little dungeon has about three or four ways you can go. So, I already have my way picked out. It's the same one I usually take, and it gives me a good score. Would help if I didn't die, though. Yeah, if you um, are going to get hit by something, you can usually um, slash the projectile. Provided it's like an energy type thing. Get some food. Okay, now we have to go after this guy. There's our magic. Okay, well, looks like my timer's done, so this has been Storm King and Aluki, and I'll see you guys next time for the rest of this dungeon. See ya!